Hello and welcome to my first ever cleaning motivation, get it all done, clean with me video. I watch these videos all the time at home just as I'm casually getting things done. So I thought, let me make one of my own. If you don't already know me, my name is Ashley and I am a new mom to an almost eight month year old an eight-month-old baby girl named Zoe. I am essentially like a part-time teacher and I teach dance and color guard. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, ladies and germs. Get it? Germs? Because it's a cleaning video? Get it? Okay, so we're starting off in the kitchen and I'm just gonna be perfectly honest with you. I struggle with making sure that the sink is empty at the end of each night. It's just a struggle that I'm working on, it's just my truth. Um, in a perfect world, I would have the dishes done every night, wipe down the counter, and in the morning, all I have to do is put away my clean dishes that are in the dishwasher, but you know, that's just not that's just not what happens if we're going to be perfectly honest. But I am trying and I am working on it and I think that is what matters most. Also, I would just throw my dishes into the dishwasher and let her clean it, but y'all, she cannot be trusted, okay? Um Oftentimes, if I run the dishwasher, I will have to run the drain cycle just about five times or so before the dishwasher is completely drained. And, you know, I, I just don't like that. And I don't think it's trustworthy. Also, who has time? Um, I just don't. I don't want to do that. And there's also sometimes... Um, I know washing dishes is a can be a big chore, but I actually like I kind of like it. It just kind of my wind down time and it's my time where I just throw on a YouTube video or a podcast and I just, you know, it's sort of me time. It's kind of self-care if you kind of think about it. But you know what? I would love to know what your thoughts are. How do you feel about washing dishes? Let me know in the comments below. Also, real quick, I just want to give a shout out to my rice cooker over there to the right, that white thing you see. She is the real MVP, you guys, okay? Like, she makes life so easy. All you have to do to make dinner most of the time, at, in my house anyway, you just make a bunch of rice, cook your protein, steam up some veggies, saute your veggies, whatever you wanna do with your veggies, and you just throw it together. It's the easiest thing. And I always get my meat like pre-marinated and um, or even if it's not pre-marinated it's just really easy to season and it's it makes life so easy to just all you have to do cook some rice make a quick protein do a quick veggie and it's it's easy and it's filling and it's yummy and it's perfect Ta-da! 
Here it is, my clean kitchen and my clean dishes and that eyesore of a step stool. Here comes little creepy crawler Zoe trying to see if she can help me. This is really funny now that I'm watching the playback. It's so cute. But, uh, you know, if you're a mom who take care, you're trying to do things at home around the house while you're taking care of the baby, you know exactly what this is like. And, you know, it's just the new normal. This is just what life is like now. Sometimes you can get things done in peace by yourself, quickly and efficiently, and sometimes your baby needs some attention. And that's okay. I'm totally fine with that. It's a nice little break, you know, try to embrace these little interruptions because they won't always happen and, you know, not to get all sappy and sentimental, but one day they're going to grow up and they're not going to crawl up to you and bother you anymore and you just might miss it. So I'm just going to enjoy it for now. Downtown I had the couple condo, down south I had it popping, popping. And right here, I'm getting ready to throw together a quick meal using taco meat. I'm not going to be making tacos. I'm just simply going to brown the meat and throw it on top of some rice that we already had cooking. In the middle of doing chores that day, my little brother got kind of hungry, so I just wanted to make something really fast and easy so I could get back to what I was doing. Normally, I like to also make some veggies on the side, but I didn't do it this time. But it's just super simple. You just get the pre-marinated meat from the grocery store. I liked Aldi because it's nice and cost-effective and it tastes pretty good. And then I just throw it on top of some white rice. And there you have it, a quick and easy meal. I actually bought these fruits a few days ago and I'm finally getting around to taking them out of the fridge and washing them and cutting them and making sure that they're ready to eat just straight out the fridge. I love to eat berries as a snack. Um, Zoe's gonna start get started on these fruits soon. Right now, I'm just focused on making sure she likes her vegetables first, but we'll get to these fruits soon enough and um, I also like to use them in my smoothies, so it's always just something we have on hand in the fridge. And speaking of fridge, I haven't cleaned this out or wiped this down in, I don't know, a few weeks so there's some things that I've collected in there leftovers or to-go boxes and you know I don't make it a routine enough to check in my fridge for what's expired and what needs to get thrown out so now is the time and it felt good to get this done that cream cheese needed to go I liked it it was this like almond milk cream cheese the consistency you know isn't as creamy and delicious as cream cheese that's made from milk but you know sometimes it's just healthier to not have the cow milk product 
Um, I just gave it a try. I liked it, but I didn't finish it and it expired. I just happened to find this guy under the sink. I think my mom bought it. Um, I don't know if I'm like a super huge fan of it. I, it's okay, I guess. You can tell that there's some streaks left behind, so not sure that I would recommend it, but I mean, the fridge did end up looking cleaner than it was before, so not gonna complain about that. Now, here is a product that I love. I just got this Thieves Household Cleaner. It's made by Young Living, and I'm not um, a distributor. I don't have a team with them. Um, I just ordered that product, and I wanted to try it, and I love that it's non-toxic. It's a concoction of essential oils. You can use it on the floor, tables, mirrors, countertops, any surface, and it's not going to mess up your surfaces. It smells great. It smells like fall to me, really. kind of smells spicy. And I cannot wait to order my Thieves kit. Also, everybody needs to tell Jamal that he needs to get up and stop being a lazy bump on a log and get off his phone. I'm just messing around. He was answering people's messages and questions and stuff because he's been trying to sell his car. And by the time this video is up, it's already been sold. And it's kind of sad, actually, because we had that car when we first started dating. And there's lots of memories in it. And while I'm glad that we made some extra money off of it, I am kind of sad to part ways with it because it is a little sentimental. And last but not least, we're just going to finish up the video by wiping down the floors with this little spray mop that we have. And I'm just using some thieves mixed with water. My mother-in-law just let me use her steamer because she's not using it. And I'm so excited to use it in the next cleaning video. It's going to be so good. Thanks again for sticking around to the end of this video. I hope you loved it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you leave a comment and let me know where you're from and what you're doing today, what you're gonna get done around the house, and subscribe if you wanna be friends.